47-year-old Paula Reddy is a child support officer for San Bernardino County, California. Her 16-year-old son Jacob has autism and will need care the rest of his life. I'm taller, see? She has paid into the state and county pension plan for 16 years, but now with government officials slashing jobs and benefits, she fears that safety net won't be there when she and Jacob need it. I wonder how I'll be able to pay the cost of his medical insurance premium or his medicine or anything like that to provide for him when he's an adult. Are you scared? Very. The state of California has a gap of more than $112 billion between what's been promised state employees and money on hand to meet retirement obligations. California is better off than most states. It has 78% of the money it's promised for pensions, but according to a report this week by the Pew Center on the States, Illinois has just 45%, Rhode Island only 49%. In good times and in bad times, states were kicking the can down the road. Kil Ha wrote the Pew Report. He says states were counting on continuing stock market gains to cover pension shortfalls. It was not uncommon for states to shortchange or skip payments altogether. Um, and when investment returns were quite good, um, states felt that they could basically invest their way to full funding. It was a hard lesson for the University of California. When the bottom fell out of the stock market, the 10 campus system was forced to raise tuition, cut classes and staff to meet growing pension demands. Marsha Fritz is an advocate for pension reform. I don't think our children should have to pay for these high pensions that are giving us nothing in return. While I'm proud to be a public employee, I'm not a volunteer. We deserve some degree of security in knowing that there's going to be a system in place to provide for us when we're no longer able to, to work anymore. Scott, I'm in downtown Los Angeles where state and federal workers are gathering to protest pension and budget cuts. They say they've already made substantial concessions, but with baby boomers now hitting retirement age, this is a problem not going away soon. Bill, thank you.